So we have a fencing problem here, and it's a three-sided fence uh, that's enclosing the area. So just to kind of visualize what's going on, let's draw a quick diagram. Let's say we have a river here, and we are fencing in some sheep here, and perhaps the sheep go down to the water, to down to the river to get some something to drink, but they're not going swimming, so we just have to fence in on three sides. So what we could say is that the area is enclosed by a width of W and a length of L and then another W on the other side. So there we go, rectangle. And we stop and we say we are looking to maximize the area. So the area is going to be our main formula. And you should be remembering that the area rectangle length times width. Okay, what else do we know? Well, we know that we have 100 meters of fencing total. So if we add up all of our sides, which in this case is just three, so we have two widths and we have one length, and that has to be 100 meters. Okay, so two formulas. Um, we have our main formula here, but it has two unknowns in it. Um, and that doesn't grab very well. So how do we get one unknown? So taking our second formula, uh, we can solve for L. The L looks like the easiest one to solve for here. It's just by itself. So minus 2W, minus 2W, we're left with length is equal to 100 minus 2W. Okay, so where does this get us? Well, our main formula was the area up there and we had two variables, and we only want one. So what we can do is we can rewrite our area formula, but this case, in this case, we're going to replace the L with 100 minus 2W. And so we can show a little arrow, arrow just to show where that came from. And then the W stays a W. And there we go. We have a formula that we could plug into Desmos now. It has one variable there on the right, and uh, the area would be our y value. So we still have to show work, even though we're just going to Desmos. And the way that we can do that is we can just show our graph. And just a quick sketch just showing what we roughly see in Desmos. And what we see is that it crosses through zero here. Uh, we also see it crossing through at 50, and we know our symmetry of this parabola, and so that must be 25 there. Um, along the side here, we can see it gets up to 1250, and uh, let's show that we know what the heck's going on here. So the y-axis in this case would be our area, and that would be in meters squared. If the length is meters and the width is meters, meters times meters, meters squared. Okay, and the x-axis, that represents, well, we look back, and what was the equation that we stuck in? Well, it was to do with w. So that must mean that the x is w in meters. And there we go. A uh, quick little diagram, but it does help us demonstrate where we're going with this. So show your work. And what we can do at this point is we can say um, the we're looking for the dimensions that produce a maximum area. So the vertex, as is often the case, is a point of interest for us. So vertex, and in this case, we can say the vertex is 25 and 1250. Okay, now the 1250, let's just go through what does this mean? The 1250 is our y value. So that represents area. And so there's the maximum area. So in a question that we were asked for maximum area, perfect. There we go. But in this case, we're asked for dimensions. So this one here is more of interest. So if somebody just wrote down 25 and said, there, we solved it. Mm, nope, you're not solved it. That's an only part mark kind of scenario. What we have to do is we have to make sure we explain what that 25 is and make sure that it fully answers the question. So we go back and we say the 25 
is our width at that maximum. So let's just mark that. Our width is 25. Okay, so we've clearly shown that we have one of the dimensions here. Okay, good. What about the other dimension, the length? We definitely have to include that as well. And so how are we going to determine length? Well, we look back in our work and we see we've got a nice little formula there that we've already rearranged for length. So let's do that. And we're interested in the length at the maximum point. And the maximum point when the width was 25. Okay, so the length at that maximum point would be 100 minus 2 times 25 or 100 minus 50 is 50 meters. So our dimensions would be 25 meters as the width and 50 meters as the length. And we're all done.